What's going on, guys? Your boy Shady Mike Gaming. Uh, wanted to let everybody know we are going to be live streaming NBA 2K23 tomorrow. Uh, when you watch this game, it should be when you watch this video, it should be Wednesday. So tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to be live streaming probably around 11, 11 30 p.m. EST. That's going to give us about 30 minutes before NBA 2K23 unlocks. I'll make sure I have it preloaded and all that good stuff so that we can hop right into the game. But uh, this video is going to serve as more of, I guess, a channel update. Um, I wanted to take some time, talk about NBA 2K23. Uh, you guys know I have been radio silent on the game on YouTube. If you follow me on Twitter, which if you're not following me on Twitter at this point, I don't know what you're doing. That's where I'm most active, Twitter and Discord. Um, those links are in the, in the description. Um, I've given my thoughts on 2K. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit here as well. This, this video is going to act more of a uh, channel update so that we can just all be on the same page and, and have a good understanding of what to expect from me uh, and the channel uh, going forward with NBA 2K23. Um, it's no secret I have not been the most optimistic person around NBA 2K23. Um, I don't love the way they handled the release of the game. I don't love, you know, the way they've handled the marketing of the game. And we're going to get into that and talk about it. And um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I've probably tried to record this video 10 times over the past two weeks, just my thoughts. And then it's just every day something else happens that kind of frustrates me even more. And uh, you guys, you know, I think the reason it's so hard for me to make a video like this is because I don't like making negative uh, like tone videos. But um, I think also a lot of you guys follow me and subscribe because you you guys know you're going to get the real from me uh, and anybody paying me to say anything good or bad. And, and that's why, hey, um, you know, that's that's why I think I've had a lot of the success that we've had so uh, we're going to get into 2k23 we're going to talk about everything pre-launch and the features of the game and what we're looking forward to and what we're not looking forward to and we'll get right into that um obviously guys if you like the content like the video please uh subscribe to the channel helps me out a ton um consider joining on all that good stuff um i, I got to do a much better job and that's one thing for 2k23 i'm going to do a much better job uh, highlighting the members of my channel the, the real ones that are supporting me um you guys rock um i really appreciate all the support so first thing I want to get into with this video um, is actually the first thing I want to talk about is community day. Um, and I know people were like, well, that's interesting. Why? Like, were you so triggered over community day? Like, oh, are you triggered that you didn't get invited? Uh, I, honestly, no, uh, that's silly. My my channel is very small. My support, I don't have anywhere near the amount of support to get invited to an event like that. Um, so let's let's start with that. Like, I, I don't care that I wasn't invited to the event that's that's silly right i was never expecting to get an invite to community day but what did frustrate me about community day we'll start with is number one the timing of community day uh, you have a community day seven days before the launch of the game uh, that's not a community day that's a marketing day right and what i mean by that is you're not inviting people out to try and make your game better you're, that's not what you're doing and people got to understand that the point of community day if, if they wanted feedback and good feedback to make that game better community days in january community days in february community days in march it's not seven days before launch when the game is already gold so that was my, my number one problem what, what people need to understand is 2K has a budget for marketing and it is so much more profitable for them to fly people out to play their game, tell them what they can and can't release. Right. Um, and have all of those respective people go back to their individual communities and say, oh, my gosh, the game's amazing. The game's amazing. Did you hear one negative piece of feedback coming out of Community Day? No, because why would any of those people say anything bad about the game? They would never get invited back. Right. So it's marketing for 2K. Um, that's why I didn't say much about it i didn't make any videos on it I, I there was nothing knowledge wise uh th that was another thing that frustrated me we got literally no simulation gameplay uh we got no current gen gameplay at all we have not seen the current gen version of the game at all and i'm so conflicted of like should i even buy this crap on pc we haven't seen the game we don't know if any it, we don't know if any of these features that are being marketed are going to be in the current gen it's just a, a total crap shoot that we got to 
you know play Russian roulette with our hard earned money and, and buy the game. We have no idea what's what's in the game. So um, to the people that wanted to attack me on Twitter and say you're not following this person and you're not following that person, they made content showing this and showing that. That's not my job, right? That's not my job to go searching for content on a game as a consumer 2k is selling the game they should be marking saying hey current gen guys we know you didn't get the the next gen version of the game but this is what we did for you this is what we got you're getting this you're not getting that i, I shouldn't have to search for that information they don't have to search for my money right it's easy to force me to you know cough up uh because i'm on ps5 and and pc gotta cough up you know close to 150 bucks for you know the two versions of the game i the people that were trying to come at me and tell me i'm in the wrong because i'm not watching some random youtuber who was at community day uh shame on them and and that's kind of gonna roll right into my next topic uh the people that want to keep sending hate mail and nonsense and you know i abandoned the pc community and abandoned the modding community and all that because i bought a ps5 like bro it's clear as day they're not supporting the game and it's crazy to me this is i think this has just been the number one thing it's crazy to me that people hold me to a higher standard than you do 2k they're more mad at me for not playing the the pc version of the game than they are at 2k for not bringing the next gen version of the game um on that note there's a lot of people been saying you did this you did that you're not playing pc this year you're not doing this this year i never said any of those things um this channel is not going to be changing at all we're going to be doing literally the same thing we always do we're going to be doing mod showcases we're going to be doing jump shots uh we're going to be doing whatever you know content wise makes sense for us as a simulation community that that is what it is I, i've never indicated that i'm not going to do anything um so that's just people talking uh you know putting words in my mouth and stuff like that talking about where i am and am not going to be uh, my content is going to be very similar to what it's been so if you like the content you like the content um it's, it's not going to be changing much if anything i want to add to the content i uh, have talked to you know with some of my followers and subscribers saying hey let's do franchise rebuilds let's let's do simulations let's you know mess around with this my nba uh, eras thing which you know sounds like a lot of fun so that's you know one of the, the big things that that i want to accomplish uh, here on the channel Let, like let's just get back to gaming like I, I do way too much like you know information type like jump shots and, and stuff like it's not like we're gonna stop any of that but like I want to do more with YouTube I want to do more like playing the game on YouTube whether it's live whether it's streaming whether it's franchise whether it's you know us collaborating and talking and playing the game not just hey here's this jump shot take it and the you know because that also gets the response like hey shady do this for me do this jump shot do that do this do that it's it's just very transactional um that is not why i started youtube i started youtube for it to be a community for us to do sliders for us to do you know rosters gameplay jump shot it, it should all be community based and i think that's why i got burned out so early this year like i got burned out on 2k22 way earlier than i ever usually get burned out um just because it just became so transactional it's like shady do this shady do that shady do this you know it just became very transactional for me and that is changing this year um i told a a, a follower of mine on twitter yesterday you guys are going to be shocked by the balance of this channel uh, when it comes to 2k madden and other games like i'm going to be doing a lot more content but it's going to be much more varied um and the supporters are going to support the haters are going to hate just like they've always been um so that's it that's all i want to talk about I, I don't even know what this video was i hope it didn't come off as too negative you guys know how much i care about this community uh you guys know you know how much effort heart and soul i put into my content and try to you know continue making good content for you guys that you guys like and that's this going to be the same thing for me uh, you guys know if it's going to be content it's going to be good content it's going to be you know content that i put my time into editing and making look clean and stuff like that i don't do clickbait stuff I don't do fake stuff, um, but I just know there's a lot of people that wanted to know what my plans were for 2K23. And bottom line is, plans for 2K23 are going to be the same plans that was for 2K22, 2K21, 2K20, 2K19. Some of y'all been with me since 2K. I think I started on the channel with 2K15. So we're not changing anything here on the channel. We're going to be here. Um, you guys are going to be supporting. Um, the takeaway. Um, 
my haters, I love you. Uh, my supporters, I love you more. Um, if you guys watch my videos, if you watch any of my videos, that means you've supported me. And I cannot tell you guys uh, how incredible it's been to, to have uh, this support on this channel, to grow it to where we've grown it. And I just want to keep that going. So um, I, I wish uh, everybody success this year with 2K23. A lot of new people breaking into the content creation stuff. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever watching this and, and, and needs some help and or want some advice, uh, feel free to reach out. You know, my, my DMs are always open on Twitter and stuff like that. But um, guys, that's all I can really say. Thank you so much for the support. Um, if you're watching this, uh, you rock. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I, I hope to see you all at the stream tomorrow. Um, like I said, maybe 11, 1130 Eastern time. Uh, we'll be live chilling. Um, so, you know, we'll have a we'll have a couple minutes, 20, 30 minutes before 2K actually unlocks to talk about, you know, whatever we want to talk about. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is just a short uh, actually this ended up not being that short but this is a channel update for you guys i'll catch y'all in the next one shady mike i'm signing out peace threes